Hello America, this is Call of Duty Goddess and today is January 31st, 2016. Um, I'd like to first uh, take a prayer and a moment of silence for Lavoy Finnicum and his family. Amen. And um, I'd like to, uh, my heart goes out to Ammon Bundy. I feel for him so badly that he had to witness his friend die like that. Um, it's it's shocking. Anyway, this first video I have is from Professor Doom. Um, this was about a week ago. It was about, um, well, I'll just let you hear it. Here is a phone conversation that I had with somebody who wished to remain anonymous. And I did not even reveal the information I can actually show you. Hold on. Let me do this. Here's the video right here, info. And here it was, modified January 16th, four days ago. So I have not revealed this information until now. Decision and the Bundy standoff. The BLM and the Special Terrorist Unit of the DOJ decided to formulate a fast, what they're calling a fast response team for deployment. There is now a C-130 sitting in the Oregon National Guard base in Port, at the Portland Airport. The Marriott has 36 to 42 rooms with a GSA credit card. Eight to 12 of those are FBI terrorist division. Eight to 12 of those rooms are for the FBI terrorist division. There are pilots, cargo handlers, ATV, Humvees, operators, and an elite sniper bunch from Fort Campbell, Kentucky. A second C-130 has a special fast track snowmobiles from Alaska for pursuing across the snow at 55 miles an hour. That's in Portland. Okay. The blackout SUVs with consecutive license plate numbers that are in Burns and parts of the Marriott in Portland. Okay, I uploaded that one week ago, and that was originally posted from Professor Doom's channel. I have that um, linked in the description as well. Now I want to go to a video from Veratus Fox, and this came out just last night. And um, I'll let you hear what that is. And that's the sheriff's office right there? Are you state police or sheriff? Excuse me? Are you state police or sheriff? Well, we are here supporting the sheriff. So are you a police officer? We are both law enforcement officers, sir. Okay, but what... Uh... We're not here to answer questions about media. If you have more questions, you can call that number. Uh -huh. If you want to gain access here... Here's a car coming with Washington plates. Time. For California plates. More, more than 200 days, of, days out of a year, it's raining in Portland. Another California plate in car. Uh, another California exempt car. Another California car. California plate in a suburban Another California car. <laughs> So right here, you guys can see AT1, okay, anti-terrorism level one. I've seen this truck in Burns since the, the very first community center training, uh, tra the, not training, I'm sorry, the community center meeting before the refuge was ever taken. This truck was there. I saw it all the time. It's got this camper shell thing on the back, like a toolbox camper shell. I'll show you it. And then it had, let's just back up a little bit. You guys already seen it once. See, it's very distinct. Very distinct. I mean, and then I already saw this, the numbers on the front. I was like, oh, I wonder if that's a CB thing. And then all of a sudden it's got the flat black on the sides. And then these toolbox type things on the back or whatever that is, okay? So from before the refuge was ever taken, our government, the FBI, whoever these guys are, 
sent out the anti-terrorism level one task force and has California plates just like all these other uh, pickups did or SUVs so okay now I also wanted to show you real quick that Lavoy is right-handed his gun is strapped to his right hand side wanted to clear that up And um, from what I can gather, there is a video floating around Facebook of right after Lavoie's death. He had given his gun to a guy at the refuge, in particular, the guy who rides the horse around the camp every day uh, carrying the flag. So he did not have his weapon on him because the, the man at the camp that was at the camp and rode the horse every day has his gun. Okay, now to uh, further check into, cooperate, however you want to say it, um, the vehicles that I posted on the video. We're going to try to look at them as best we can because these two here, uh, I believe it's two after we get out of the trees here, these two here I believe are both black and they are the ones that you saw previously uh, with the um, primer, the black primer that are on the doors. Yes, that's them. Both of them. Okay. We'll move along a little bit. Yeah, that's a better view. One looks like the truck with the toolbox on it. And one looks like a, a van type of thing. I can't really see that well. Yeah, that looks like a van with them in the back. It looks like they can fit a bunch of them in the back. Okay, so it looks as though this um, terrorism task force, and this is where we're going to see uh, the other vehicles that are involved in this so-called task force. Um, I call them Hitler's brown shirts. Uh, that's what they act like. And remember, <laughs> Hitler Hitler had to have all of his brown shirts assassinated because um, he was afraid of them. He was afraid of what he created. Hmm. Just saying. History repeats itself. Oh, there's a better view. Okay. Here's a silver SUV. Silver truck without a cab and a black truck without a cab. I would say these are all that task force but I'm not a professional I'm not an expert it looks as though that's what it is okay now that we've pretty much established um, that it looks like the terrorism tax force was in, was in control of this thing the whole time and what I wanted to talk about is now that we've gotten to this point we remember Lavoie for what he did. We have to keep in mind what the mission was to begin with. And that mission was to bring attention to and stop this huge land grab that is going on with our ranchers and farmers. Because keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, keep in mind they are the people that provide us with food. This is a control tactic and a land grab. There is uranium out there, and this goes all the way up to Hillary Rodham Clinton. This is so big with the uranium. Look it up. I think I've done a video uh, on one of my YouTube accounts about it. Anyway, um, we cannot take our eyes off the ball. We have to bring attention to Lavoy. We have to get Ammon and the rest and Pete and everyone else out of jail because they do not belong in jail. But our main goal and our main purpose and our main mission is to stop this land grab from our ranchers and farmers. They are the ones that feed us. us. If we lose our ranchers and farmers, we lose the ability to feed ourselves as a nation. And that's when 
they will have the government the federal government and the UN will have total control of the citizenry of the United States of America and I just wanted to also state something that I saw a man did a video on Facebook and oh my gosh he was so right and I had been asking this question on the videos that I did of this FBI footage why would they release it why would they release it and the man answered it perfectly he said it's to take your eyes off the ball he even in particular stated um, I forgot his name but it's a wonderful Facebook post I shared it everywhere um, he stated that usually in any kind of FBI footage or anything they do not show the dead body and he said it's unusual and the first time he had ever seen that they showed the dead body and there's a reason behind it and the reason is to take our eye off the ball and our eye needs to get focused back on the fact that it is unconstitutional for the federal government to own land or buildings outside post offices and military installations besides in DC in the 10 square miles of Washington DC and that's what this did because this is totally unconstitutional it is it is terrorism our federal government is now terrorizing the citizens of the United States of America that know their rights they wanted to put a stop and they put Ammon Bundy in jail they put Pete Santilli and all of the people in jail that are spreading the word except for a couple few like like Brandon Curtis and he is a very intelligent man and he knows and many of the so-called militia know what they're doing they know the laws they are teaching the people in Harney County their rights and I've got to be honest with you I had never read the Constitution until I started watching this and I had no idea how much rights I have and I encourage each and every one of you to read the Constitution it's not complicated and it's a little tiny book after you read the Constitution <laughs> read Revelation 10 where it talks about the little book and the angel with the foot in the uh, on the land and the angel with the foot in the sea very interesting because to me it depicts the uh, law of the land versus the maritime law and look up the flag the the um, American flag with the fringe on it amazing amazing and you may want to while you're in the Bible read the book of Ephesians because um, it will give you the strength to carry on just like it's doing for me anyway uh, this is Call of Duty Goddess and as always I've got your six.